Hey folks, just wanted to make a quick video for you Squadrons players. Uh, I've heard a lot of folks that are frustrated trying to get their Hori Flight Stick to work, particularly with the PS4 version. I uh, just had a couple quick suggestions. I'm a big fan of uh, Hori Sticks. I have one for three different consoles. It's actually my uh, Xbox 360 one down there. Um, so the main issue I've heard of is that when you do the throttle, that it ends up being um, digital, so it's like a button one way and a button the other way. So the way to fix that, there should be a switch. This isn't a PS4 one, but using it as an example, uh, there should be a switch where you can change it to setting one, which may also be PS3 mode. I'll show a picture or a diagram at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, so that should switch it so that the um, throttle becomes an axis. Um, you probably won't have the use of this stick, but you don't really need it anyway. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to talk really quick about setting up the buttons. Just, uh, to just suggest what my configuration is. So, real quick, this is obviously the thumb pad. Um, this is, um, target ahead, and also if you hold it down, it's the target wheel. Um, this is, the start button is the menu button, and then this is the social button, and then of course the trigger is your primary fire, and then this weird little button down here, I have set to where you uh, redistribute power, um, and that way I have it set so it's a combo, so if I accidentally hold it down, it doesn't bring up a menu in my face, so I can tap it twice to put the shields to the front, tap it once to uh, move them to the back and hold it down to uh, set it back to default and you know how TIE Fighters work it's just, you know, how that works with the power dump this button is your left weapon this button is your right one usually like your, your uh, ion or your torpedoes um, and this one is cycle next target and if you hold it down it is um, target attacker and this one is contextual action I can't even remember what that does but I put it there so that way if I'm gripping the stick and I hit it by accident it doesn't matter and then on the throttle side this is my boost drift button this is my ping button and if you hold it down it's the communications menu um, this weird little button right here is my flares I'm afraid for you guys it might be mapped to two different buttons, so I don't know if it's going to work for you. Um, and of course, if you've never seen a Hori Flight Stick before, that rocker right there is your yaw. And then, let's see, anything else? Nope. And then in my case, since I'm using this on a PC, I have that set as my record that button. So when I'm using the VR headset, I can use Windows Game Bar to record like the past five minutes or whatever. And uh, I could just hit that button without having to take the headset off. So anyway, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard people complaining about the dead zone. I know that on the PS4 and Xbox One, Hori Sticks, um, a lot of folks have said there's a big dead zone. Um, I guess you get used to it. Just make sure that you turn down all the dead zone settings in the game to zero. Um, also, real quick, this thing that it's sitting on is a, uh, a bed pan I got off of eBay that I have drilled holes in and zip tied so I can hold it between my thighs, you know, my legs this way and that way, um, on the couch, and then just have the throttle next to me on my left side, and um, I can play sitting down and not need a desk or suction cups. Actually, I actually do have the suction cups there <laughs> on, the, on the front, just, so, just to hold it in place when I strapped it down so it doesn't slide around at all but anyway hope the video wasn't too long i hope it's helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments and thanks for watching